Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, thanks, everybody. If you have a moment to drop by, I appreciate your time. Try not to waste it. Uh, Morse Taper 4.5 adapter on a uh, Clausing 11 slash Harrison M250. Morse Taper goes into spindle, Morse Taper 4.5. It's a bit of an oddball, but not that much when you really start digging in with an inside uh, taper of a Morse Taper number three. Um, being that this was made in England, uh, and I am in standing in America, uh, Michigan to be specific, these things are extraordinarily rare. It's shipped with it, I'm pretty sure. However, um, it's long gone. So if I want to turn between centers, that's a bit of a problem for me. Now I can chuck up uh, something with a, uh, a 60 degree uh, point on it and go it that way, or I can try to do it properly um, this way. So let's find out uh, if uh, what I have ordered and received, if it's actually going to work. Uh, the original part number 8100009 versus a 910002. Uh, again, extraordinarily rare over here. Uh, let's see if what we can find a workaround. We love workarounds. I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, here's the receipt. I got this from uh, Grizzly, uh, which is a local supplier here. They sell all manner of, uh, you know, largely a lot of imported uh, machine tools, woodworking tools. They're a big deal here in the US. Uh, they also have uh, some of the old South Bend stuff. I think they bought you know, the name and a few other odds and ends. Oftentimes I use them to uh, take an old South Bend lathe and look at serial number and get the authentication papers from the original build sheet. Anyway, with that being said, uh, just highlighting in here, uh, this is part number, see it right there, P973029129. You can see it, it's actually up here printed. It is a spindle sleeve Morse taper 4.5 to a Morse taper 3. Before anybody starts going off into the world, in the universe, uh, there is no Morse Taper 4.5. Yes, indeed, there is. It's not super common, but it's it's there. Uh, you can find it if you dig dig along enough. So, Morse Taper 4.5 to a Morse Taper 3 for yep, 43 bucks. All right, 43 bucks, 12 bucks to ship it, and 58.54. And this is as of. Um, February 20th, the year of our Lord, 2022. Okay, let me bring you back. Okay, here is the taper. Uh, it is alleged that this is a Morse taper 4.5 on the outside with a Morse taper 3 on the inside. Um, let's see. Okay, without knocking it, without doing anything, it appears to be settled in there in position. All right, so let's just take a little something here. There we go, just popped it right out. Okay, it appears to fit. Well, let's see how it fits when we start marking it. Bring you right back. Okay, we're going ahead and let the uh, dicum dry on that one, and then we'll do a little rotation and we'll see just how the fit looks, and then we'll move on up, up a little bit in uh, complexity. All right, let's take a fit. Um, I took the dicum this way, so if you see anything that's going radial, that's going to be from the contact pattern, and I just borrowed uh, this Morse taper uh, ER32 just to give myself something to hang on to because it gets up pretty close. Okay. Well, actually the Morse taper slipped before that one slipped. Oh, it bit. All right, hold on. Okay, I just bumped it to uh, free it up. We're gonna take a light pass. Feels pretty good. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, ah. How's that for contact pattern? Huh. 
looks like it's hitting. All right, and actually in a very uniform way. I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, just giving you an idea. That's all there is for that Morse Taper 4.5 to catch. There's not much contact pattern. So if we compare what it got versus what's available, I think it got it all. And again, you can see, I know there's keen eyes in the, in the audience here. Yeah, it's got a little, a little grumpy scratching around in there. Lord only knows this was a student laid somewhere and they abused and beat on it, but it's still kicking. So credit to the uh, designers, it's still going. All right, let's bring you back. Okay, um, again, just playing around here because it's well, it's my shop and I can play around if I want to. Um, just taking a quick look at this one, not optimal setup. Obviously, I'm going on to a taper with a uh, old roughed up old federal gauge. By the way, if you don't have any of these style indicators, they are built like a brick outhouse on the inside. They are very good. So just compare one of these and wait, pop the back cap off, take a look. It's like, holy smokes, they over overbuilt these things. So if you see one in a, in a lot on eBay, uh, get one and then uh, see how you go. I'm trying to use this bar to reduce as much influence as I can. There's about a thousandth or so. Okay, again, not optimal. Eh, staying about a thousandth. Okay. And right there appears to be the high spot. All right, let me get something to mark that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I made a mark right here. Uh, probably should come in right about here. Okay, made a mark right about there and made a mark right about here. We had about a thousand. Again, I told you that the bore had been roughed up a little bit. So I'm gonna pop that loose, rotate it to a different position, and then uh, let's see if it continues. Okay. We took that one here, you see the little dot, rotated it a quarter turn just for giggles, okay? About a thousand, almost two. if it zeroes again. Okay, I'm gonna call that probably two thousandths right there. Okay, so let me change positioning of that. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm gonna center that just for a second. Pretty repeatable. I've been playing with it off camera here for a second. Okay, looks like we're moving up. This would be uh, a low spot. Just shy of three. And I'm not the first person to notice this, by the way. There were folks far more skilled than me there's about a half a thousandth there where I think it's just stack up at the deflection of the gauge, but it's pretty repeatable from there. So if I bring this around, it's just shy of three. And this is a half thousandth gauge resolution. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 360. So with the way it's in there, again, it has no drawbar. Um, it is just set in position. I just tapped it in to lock it with the uh, 
little uh, Mjolnir hammer that I picked up off the uh, scrapyard's uh, dirt. <laughs> so with that one, it looks like we're you got a couple thousandths of run out now. By the time you take it from there, extend it out, it's going to be a little bit more than that. So you just have to keep that in mind. It's probably going to show up. That's the whole reason for this is to turn in between centers. And that's the whole reason. Um, okay, there it is. But what is nice, though, is at least I've got something in there and I can at least do something. Uh, it may not be perfection, but if I'm turning between centers, eh, yeah, we'll see. But a little disappointing. At the same time, it is what it is.